Oh. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Sorry about that. I realized I left my phone in the family room, so I had to go run over there and get it. But today I'm having steak, crinkle cut fries, and roasted Brussels sprouts. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have my stick on the Grizzler Elite. It's uh, a a art. Appliance. I bought this on Amazon Prime Day. I must have got to turn the TV off. But anyway. Whew. Hot. Mm -hmm. Organic ketchup. I actually really look forward to my Fridays. Where I can make myself a big meal and relax in front of my my computer. Mm, that's so really good. I like my steaks medium rare. So almost done cooking. Mm -hmm. I cooked my fries just right today. Nice and crispy on the outside and potatoey on the inside. Huh? This is done. That is about enough. Oh, it's so pretty. See? Ah, it's too big for my plate. I'm gonna eat some of my fries. Leave my steak on there for a while. And I don't know if you can see my steak, but that's a nice grill mark. You brush yourself. Mm-hmm. 
I honestly do not understand how people can eat and talk at the same time because hmm. Hmm. Okay. I love the Brussels sprouts and my steak fries. I ended up getting another plate. I think it looks better than the white one I was always using. Mistake is too big to put on my face. Whoa. I feel awful because it's like sitting on top of my Brussels sprouts. Look at that. Wonderful grill marks. Isn't it pretty? That's a big steak. They had a sell at Albertsons. Buy one steak, get two free. So I went and stocked up on some steak. Mm. Mm. Oh, these fries are good. I gotta drink up the last of this plum wine. All right. This one, I'll probably uh, get too sleepy to finish my meal here because. Hmm, alcohol makes me sleepy. I don't know what it does for you, but it makes me sleepy. So, Halloween is 29 days away, and it's on a weekend this year, which means I have the option to get dressed up and go out this year. 
I really want to go to a drive-in movie. They still have a couple of drive-ins here in Southern California, so. We'll find someone to go with. It would be really cool to watch like Halloween or Friday the 13th. Or, I don't know, any movie. I would be going to the drive-in for the experience, not really for the movie. And with it being Halloween, you can get dressed up. Last Friday, I went out on a girls' night out. And one of my friends there, she has two kids. And I was telling her how I haven't gone trick-or-treating. Well, the last time I went trick-or-treating, I should say, I was about seven years old. And my mom took me trick-or-treating that night. And I went up to this house. And sitting in a lawn chair was like this, I thought it was a big stuffed gorilla. So I go up to the door, trick or treat and get my candy. And then all of a sudden, the gorilla jumps up. Scares me to death. I turn around and I bolt out of there. And as I'm running, I'm looking over my shoulder, and I'm not paying attention to where I'm going, and I ran smack into a tree and knocked myself out. That was the last Halloween I ever went trick-or-treating. I preferred to stay home and hand out candy after that. <laughs> Oh no, the juices from my steak are oozing out onto my fries and making them soggy. Save the fries. Mm -hmm. Save my fries. I guess it's a good thing I don't plan on having kids because I would hate to deny them the right of passage of trick or treating. What can I possibly do? So now it's time for me to cut into my steak. Come on, lovely. Did I cook it too much? Ooh, looks like I might have cooked it too long. It's like medium well. Hmm. Let's see here. Oh, it's getting a little redder. A little more red. Hmm. I'm going to sleep well. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Let me Let me close this. All right. A perfectly cooked steak.
So here it is. Let me show you what this looks like. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you see that red? That's how I like my steak. I hope I can finish this steak tonight because there's nothing grosser than reheating a steak and then having it cook all the way through because it cooks the flavor out of it. <laughs> Oh, so hot. Ah, I don't know. I don't think I like alcohol. Or maybe it's just that I don't like. I have a big thing of roasted Brussels sprouts right here. The good news is I can put it in the refrigerator and snack on them later. Brussels sprouts have become one of my favorite vegetables since I learned how to roast them. Oh. They taste even better when you wrap them up in bacon and bake them. But bacon's gotten so expensive. And I don't know if it's because I don't season my food heavily, but a lot of the bacon that I've had has been really salty. And I don't really like salty. Mm. Oh, these fries are so good. Mm. All right. Sorry, a little bit of my steak left. This is totally killing the white. How hot is that? Can't see my plate. I watched the um the Whitney Houston Lifetime story right before um, starting this eating show. And the movie picks up in Whitney's life 
just shortly before she met Bobby Brown, which I was hoping to find out a little bit more about Whitney Houston's life before she became famous. Oh, so good. Drank a lot of water. Mm. I have to wash my hair this weekend. <sighs> it makes me all depressed. I wish I could pay someone to do it for me. Combing my hair would be the one thing I would want if I had a bunch of money. I would have a linen hairdresser because I'm all about paying people to do things I don't like to do myself. I would also have someone do my grocery shopping. I would have someone clean my kitchen, but not necessarily cook my food. So I just. Some sprouts. I'm almost full. Must have been all the water. lately. Oh. 
Oh. It tastes good when you first get it in your mouth, and then it has that alcohol flavor. Oh. wonder if it would taste better if I put some Sierra Mist in it. Wow. It is so hard to eat and talk at the same time. I could use a good nap right now. It's so pretty outside because it's not, you know, windy and it's sunny and it's warm but not hot. It was really cool early this morning. I had to go to the gas station and there was a guy in a truck. He had like one of them flannel jackets on and he had pants. He was like, yeah, it's nice, nice fall weather. And I was kind of shivering because this is all I had on. But I enjoyed the feel of the cold air on the skin.
and then it had my hair blowing a little bit. I'm still sleeping with my ceiling fan on. I've noticed it's getting darker sooner. The days are getting so short. <sighs> That's the only thing I hate about the fall and winter is how short the days get. See, so then you don't feel like you can get everything done. The good thing is, is that it'll be getting lighter, I think, sooner in the morning. I don't know. I don't know how that works. But I do remember when I worked a regular nine to five that by the time I would get off work, it would already be dark outside. And the only daylight I saw was in the morning when I was coming into work. So. Mm. Uh oh. Give me a sec. Nobody important. Oh, I'm kind of tired of chewing. something to fan myself with. Old fashioned mail. Oh, that feels so good. Mm. Oh yeah. a lot of stuff to do this weekend. There's never any time where I don't have a lot of stuff to do. This is all I have left is a little bit of steak. I have a whole casserole of Brussels sprouts, but I'm not going to finish those. Those are going to be snacks for tonight. And that's really all I have for today. Gosh, I sometimes I feel like I, I'm at a loss for words. I had a lot of stuff that I was going to talk about, too. I should start writing it down on index cards or something. Because I always seem to have a lot of things that I want to say, but when I turn the camera on, my mind goes blank. And then I'm so busy chewing. Oh, I need some more of the steak. Like that. Okay, I'm kind of done. I just don't feel like chewing anymore. 
At this point, I just want to put it in a blender and suck it through a straw. I wonder how that would taste. Seriously doubt it would be pleasurable. Oh man. Oh man, oh, so hot. And I turned the air condition on too. So that's my steak, Brussels sprouts, and crinkle cut fries. I'm thinking next weekend or next Friday I'll have meatloaf. Or like beef stew because I do have some beef in the freezer some beef stew meat that I need to cook. Because all I have to really do for that is get some onions and some carrots and some creamer potatoes. I have myself some crock pot beef stew. Or I could do beef bourguignon, but I would rather have beef stew because I can do that in a crock pot. I don't know. With the cooler weathers, I really, really just want some stew. Or maybe some chicken noodle soup with rice noodles. Mm. Who knows? What do you think I should eat next? Beef stew, beef bourguignon, chicken noodle soup. Um... I don't know. Or meatloaf. I haven't had meatloaf in so long. And someone at work brought in meatloaf for lunch. Didn't even share it with me. Not that I would share my meatloaf. But I'm going to call it quits because I really need a nap. So. I'll see you next Friday. Bye-bye. Let me do this.